All right, stamping up ink pads. Well, this is my way of playing around to, uh, well, I've watched a couple of videos and learned a few tricks of the trade. So you can see I have them already done. These I have the in color ones and they, let me just show you how they open first, okay? You open them here and they slide. So mine are sliding quite nicely and there was a little trick that I learned on helping them slide. Now, you'll note I have my petunia pop here and I used another label on the back. I really like having my labels on both and you might find them in a slightly different language. But um, they do also have these little dots so that they can um, stack on one another if you'd like that. All right, so you can see I don't have any labels on here. So you take off that clear cling, clear cling wrap and you pull these labels off on the back. Now be careful, they're really, really sticky. And you can just throw them away, whatever you don't use. Okay, so here's my labels. And you'll see there's, they're actually um, kind of a cutout so I'm going to try to peel one. Now, if you are a type personality and very anal that they have to be straight, you can use a tool, you can use your tweezer, whatever you like to help you. But that works for me right there. Okay. I also like one on the back. Maybe you missed how I did that. Hope not. Okay, so they're both done. Now, let's open this guy up. And I wanna show you something here. Remember, it's the first time. Now, when you slide this, it's a little sticky. So one of the things that I learned was to use wax. Uh, and somebody else mentioned silicone spray. I actually have a candle. Now, how many of you have birthday candles in your house? So if it's clear, that's even better, but I'm just gonna use this on the inside track. And then just try to break that in a little bit. I think the more you use it, the better it gets. So I'm just gonna get back in there with that wax. Okay. Now there's this, this is where you pull your ink pad apart, slide it, and then you close it, okay? But we wanna add one more of these plain green. It's really, really sticky. And it goes right inside, right inside this track. And that's your tray or your little grasp area to pull it so you don't get ink on your fingers and you pull it and you close it. Now, another thing you should know, and you see I have all my labels on it, is when we open it, it's opened here. I'm gonna slide it and it is sliding better than it did before. I wanna see how this beautiful tree this cute little tree. Now, the other thing that you should know is that these are really wet and spongy. The Close to My Heart ones had a felt, um, kind of like a padding. So we, you know, leaned on it a little bit. These are pretty wet. And I think it depends. Now, I haven't used this yet, so I'm not sure. Oh, 
oh boy, getting used to rubber again, but it really looks beautiful. So this is the mossy green. I thought this was a really pretty green to do our trees. So practice makes perfect, right? And then you clean your stamps and you grab it here, slide and close. So I thought I'd show it to you in case you're investing in one or a couple of little ink, some of the ink pads, and you wanted to try it out. Now you know that on the back you get your labels. You can add them here and here, and then of course the one on the inside as well. And I thought the wax idea was a really good one for that tray to slide back and forth. So I hope you found that helpful.